All right, so we are going to talk about this one software that can create thousands of AI generated articles and drive real traffic. Neil, I saw this TikTok that was shared from a friend yesterday. And basically someone showed a tweet on Twitter. I have to find it, but he started to get, I think it was like 700 K visits from SEO, just using AI generated articles. Again, I'm going to pull it up as you talk, but they were using this software called byword.ai. And then here's the tagline for this one. It says high quality AI written articles at scale. And they, I think 7,000 articles or something, and it costs $2,500 or something. So I'm a little skeptical of this. I'm going to pull up the data around it, but you can go first as I try to pull this up. You can generate good traffic from AI-based content. You ideally need a human to modify it. If you're not adding in the E, the double E A T experience, expertise, authority, and trust within your content, you're just not going to do as well. It's a really important factor that people take for granted that you need to do no matter what. And I would highly recommend anyone creating content at Masco because we've tested out a lot of AI content. And yes, it can produce traffic, but in most cases, more than nine out of 10, maybe 95, 96% of the time, now we've done it hundreds of times, but literally more than 90% of the time, the AI content, no matter how high quality it is, it doesn't generate the amount of traffic you may want unless you have brand queries and backlinks and all the other things that are necessary. No matter what you search for on Google, whether it was AI written content or human written content, in most cases, people aren't cranking out thousands of articles and getting 700,000 visitors. It's still hard to get the traffic. It doesn't matter who's writing it. The quality needs to be amazing. People want to share it. People have to want to link to it. People want to remember your brand and opt into your newsletter. Like all these things can affect your traffic in the long run. You're only going to get that if your content's truly amazing. I got over 2 million views on Twitter and LinkedIn combined, and I received hundreds of questions. Here are the most common with answers. So he uses a tool first and foremost, again, it's called byword.ai. So B-Y-W-O-R-D.ai. And we're going to go into a little more here. What did he say? So here's the analytics spam update happened and then helpful content update. And so it just kept going up, right? Eat or not. It just kept going up here. And then people are like more, can you show me more analytics? Can you prove that you actually did what you said you did? And so the proof is in the pudding over here. Are you following Neil? Yeah, I'm following. I can see it. Okay. So by word, the software existed privately before it was publicly available. It was run as a one-off consulting project for websites before productizing it in September, 2022. Well, Google penalized the content. Google has been penalizing low quality AI generated content like this, but his is, he's arguing that his is high quality and then traffic Well, Google penalize the content, the case study website and all other projects have not been impacted by any of the Google updates that targeted AI content. What are your thoughts now? I still believe the same thing. I think for most people, if they create 7,000 articles, they're not going to get those traffic stats. I'm not saying I think he might get torched. I think he might get torched. So what what Neil and I are talking about, go ahead. In the long run, I don't think he's going to win from this strategy. I think in the short run, sure. Long run, no. Algorithms will. When we say something is going to get torched, what we mean is it might start ranking like really initially, but it, once Google finds it, then it like every, all the traffic drops. So Neil and I have done this a lot in our early days doing SEO where I remember I created a site where it was getting, it was getting like a hundred thousand visits a day or something like that. And then (laughs) two weeks later it got torched and I lost all the traffic. Yeah. I used to end up doing things like this is a long time ago and I wouldn't recommend it you can end up building links through WordPress themes by releasing free WordPress themes. And I was ranking in the top three on Google for terms like online poker, online casino, web hosting, and the list goes on and on. And some of that stuff lasted a few months, some of it lasted a year, but eventually Google caught on and they would just whack, slap you, and then your rankings would just tank and you weren't ranking as well anymore. Doesn't mean his AI content isn't great. It doesn't mean that he's not gonna rank for a while. I just don't think this is the best long-term strategy from my experience. Here's what I'll say we all can learn here. So those of you that can see YouTube, AI replaced content writers. Well, AI con- so he has this framework over here for awareness, consider, convert. So it's like the ADA model. So for the very first, this is like an inverse pyramid for those of you that are just listening. So the very, for very first inverse foundation is awareness, right? And then you have consider, convert. So awareness is this scale content production with AI for generic top funnel con- topics. And then for the second rung of the pyramid it says the majority of the time would use writers for personal experience evoke emotion and similar to below so it sounds like these people would be layering on the editing piece 
And then convert requires writers to explain nuances and ultimately convert readers. So it seems like humans are used for the bottom two on the pyramid and for the top, he's really leveraging AI. And so I don't necessarily disagree with that. I think it's just, you know, how much of it that you're actually doing. So I do think this works long-term, but maybe not to the degree where he's, I think, I do believe he's over indexing for the 7,000 articles. I think you need to do a lot less than that. So. Yeah. And if he's having humans modify it, that's great. It doesn't matter if it was written by air human, as long as it has the personalized experiences and you're have, adding an E, I think you're going to be do well in the long run. You can use AI to give you a kickstart. I just believe right now in its current form, if you use AI to write 7,000 articles and you never modify them, sure, you may get more traffic in the short run, but in the long run, I believe you're going to get whacked. This is helpful right here too. So I, by the way, like I think there's good parts and there's parts where we're a little iffy on this. So we're not saying do or do not do this. I think it's just have caution. So question seven here says, by word, why, why not use like chat GPT? Why not use copy.ai? Why not use Jasper? And so what he says is, if you want a writing assistant or a tool that can help you write a few paragraphs or a rough draft, then chat GPT, Jasper and copy.ai are, and the rest are perfect for that use case. If you want to generate full articles at a custom word count in a custom tone of voice with AI generated images, with customized meta fields, with a table of contents in multiple text formats, sync your website CMS and the ability to do this at scale, then use by word. It certainly does sell, sound like he has some incentive tied to this tool, the way he's talking about it. But if he can do all these things, it might be interesting to test out. I might send this over to my team just to play around with it. Anything else, Neil? No, that's it. All right. So that is it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review, subscribe. It helps us grow. And even if it's a negative review, it helps us grow as well because we get feedback from it. So give us a positive or a negative review. And don't forget to also hit us on YouTube as well because we do a lot of these screen shares. So that is it for today and goodbye.